a blessed Wednesday. This is Sister Maria Carmela of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed thumbs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. Friends, Jesus is not only a man of truth, but the truth in person. He speaks the liberating truth without fear of repression and eventually pays his own life for this commitment to liberate us from the lies that enslave us. In this confrontation with the scribes and Pharisees, Jesus exposes the systemic corruption that has run through generations. The scribes and the Pharisees honor the slain prophets by building impressive tombs for them. But this seemingly admirable deed is intended to camouflage the wickedness of their ancestors who were responsible for the death of those very same prophets. The provocation of Jesus is meant to be an eye-opener so that the scribes and Pharisees may confront the generational violence and put a stop to it. But instead of heeding Jesus, they direct their hostility towards him and allow themselves to be swept by the tide of generational violence. And let us pray. Lord Jesus, may our commitment to you as the truth in person infuse in us the courage to stand up for the truth, even in the face of repression. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. 